Hi and welcome to another tutorial of Made by Seam. Today I'm going to show you how to make these scented sachet. I had to look it up because somewhere in the video um, I was looking for the right word because most of you know that I'm, well English is not my main language. Uh, I'm Dutch so sometimes I struggle to find the right words but yay I found it. Thank you Google Translate. Um, one piece fresh breeze, that's how the scented sachet are called. Now, um, I put some um, uh, small little bags with scented pearls in there. Uh, they are available here in the Netherlands. I don't know what is available uh, in your area. Um, but you can also put a soap bar that you like the smell of into one of the pouches were the scented bags. Um, I keep on saying in the video pouches. Yeah, it is a pouch, but when you put something in there, I think it is called a scented um, sachet. But, you know, if I'm wrong, please forgive me. Uh, let me know down below into the comment section of the video what the right word for these are. Um, and I would like to take another time, a little bit of time of you guys to ask you if you, um, when you like my videos, if you would please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Because I've noticed that just 25% of the people that are watching my videos are subscribers. So 75% of you guys are not subscribed. So please help me out and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, do not forget to hit that little notification bell next to it so you get up um, you get a notification every single time I upload another video. Now I do upload videos in Dutch as well so when I do upload a video in Dutch or in English it is always in the title of the video so you will not get the surprise that you hear me speak Dutch when you are looking for an English video. So um, these are just the perfect gifts for a baby shower, um, for your friend, uh, last minute Christmas gifts, um, or just for yourself. Um, I made a couple of just, I made a couple of these just for me, um, for in my house, because I have a lot of places in my house uh, that I like to have something nice as this to hang on. Um, a doorknob or you know somewhere in your house anyway I hope you guys enjoy watching the video for this tutorial I'm going to use this beautiful yarn and this durable coral which is a 100% cotton yarn mercerized cotton yarn um, 50 grams and 125 meters per ball of yarn uh, now, I'm not going to use the whole skein, but um, I think I can get about three of them out of one skein. But I want to um, um, have the back and the uh, string in a different color, like I did uh, with all the others that I made already. Um, now this yarn is from a Dutch company, Durable. Um, it is a beautiful yarn, but it, if you don't have it available uh, in your local area, um, I have some substitute yarns uh, from Ice Yarns down below in the description box of this video, so you so you know what to purchase to make these beautiful one piece fresh breeze bags. Um, in the same kind of yarn. Um, so um, if you're using the ice yarns, um, please go down to the description box below and use my link. I'm also going to try and see uh, if I can post a durable international link there for you, because maybe you have a shop um, in your local area that does sell this beautiful yarn too. All right. So um, this light pink one will be my um, main color and for the string I'm going to use the color ivory. 
This is 203 light pink and 326 ivory. Then I'm going to use a 3mm crochet hook from Clover Amour. Now, um, if you do have a tight tension, I have a pretty loose tension, but if you have a tight tension, I would suggest to go a one hook size up, like for example a 3.5mm crochet hook. Then I'm going to use a um, pair of scissors, a, a darning needle, um, I might use one of these. If you don't have them, it's just um, that I'm going to use them later on in the video to attach the uh, beads that I'm going to use. Um, this is really an old tool, but if you don't have it, if you don't have pliers like this, don't worry. Um, might going to use a stitch marker and then I forgot to get them out of my jar. Um, these are too big. Um, these are 10 millimeter uh, beads, um, wooden beads, but just use beads that you have um, in your stash or beads that you can find in your local area. I like to use these um, wooden beads. All right, um, I think that's about it that I'm going to, oh, um, I nearly forgot something. You need a bar of soap. This is Dutch baby soap. Then you have the doff that I already put into um, this little bag. And here in the Netherlands we have this. This is Geurbeltje. Try to pronounce that. Uh, Geurbeltje. Um, it is um, uh, a bag. It's in plastic. It looks like this. Um, there are some pearls in there and you can hang it in your closet. Um, I was looking for a description in English, but it only says, um, it only tells you exactly what it is in Dutch and French. Um, okay. Well, this is basically from a Dutch company. So um, you might have something um, in your local area. Um, that you can find that you could put in there or maybe you uh, dry your own lavender and you put that in the little bags and you can put that into um, your one piece fresh breeze bag uh, I don't know so you can also use a, a bar of soap the one that you really do like all right that's all I'm going to use for this video we're going to start off with a slip knot on your hook and leave a little bit of a tail end so you can sew that in easier later on. Now, chain four, so yarn over and pull through. One, two, three, and four. Now make a treble crochet into the very first chain. Yarn over twice. Insert your hook in the first chain. Be sure that you insert your hook underneath two strands of yarn. Yarn over. Pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over and pull through two. Now we have created our very first loop. Chain three. One, two, three. Yarn over twice and instead of inserting the hook into the first chain we're going to insert our hook into the loop. So yarn over twice insert the hook into the loop, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Now we have two loops and this is what we're going to repeat. 
chain 3. Yarn over twice to make a treble crochet into the previous loop. And now we have three loops. One, two, three. Yarn over twice, insert your hook into the previous loop and finish off your treble crochet. We have four loops now. In total we need 18 loops. So I'm going to make my 18 loops and then I'll be back to show you what to do next. In total I have 18 of these loops. Then I'm going to insert my hook into the last loop here. Just insert it right there and make a uh, slip stitch. Then chain 3. Now the chain 3 is um, your very first double crochet. And make 2 more double crochets into the same loop. Yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So now you have three, counting the very first chain, three chains as a double crochet, you have three double crochets. In each of these remaining loops we have you want to crochet three double crochets, except for the last one. Okay? The very last one, two double crochets into the last loop. And one double crochet into the very first chain one. So that basically is the chain one where we did our very first uh, treble crochet into. So right there. Make your last double crochet in there. So this is what you have. Now um, I like to put a stitch marker between the ninth and the tenth cluster of three double crochets. So counting loops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And right between here, so this is number nine, a stitch marker right there. Okay. Now, next row, chain three. The chain three doesn't count as anything. I just like um, the look of the um, stitches right there. It gives you a nice border uh, on the top of your pouch. Okay. So turn your work and work a, a double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So as these three double crochet doesn't count as anything, we're going to work into the very first right there. Double crochet. And a double crochet in the next. And a double crochet in the next. So as you can see, the three stitches from the previous row, we have been working in them three. Then chain two. Skip the next and go to the next double crochet, which is basically the center stitch of the um, previous row. See, so you have another cluster of three double crochets. And if you skip this one, this one is the center stitch then single crochet into that stitch. Chain two. And 
skip the next and go to the next cluster of three stitches one double crochet in each of the next three stitches one two and three chain two skip a stitch go to the center stitch right there single crochet chain two and one double crochet on top of the next three stitches two three chain two skip a stitch single crochet into the center stitch chain two skip a stitch and work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches chain two skip a stitch single crochet in the center stitch chain two skip a stitch and work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches now we did half of the pattern right there we're going to repeat this part exactly the same on this side so um, it's just a copy of what we already did I asked you guys to place the center uh, the stitch marker right there which is basically the bottom of your pouch see so on this side you have three double crochets this is the bottom and you have three on the other side so taking out the stitch marker On the other side of the stitch marker which is the other side of the bottom of the pouch you will be crocheting another three double crochet two three now for the complete pattern this part will be different to this one this part so on the bottom of our uh, work we will always have six double crochet okay we're going to repeat our pattern by chaining two skip a stitch and into the center stitch one single crochet chain two skip a stitch and one stitch in each of the next three stitches there you go chain two skip single crochet chain two skip double crochet double crochet and a double crochet chain two skip single crochet chain two skip double 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 chain two skip single crochet chain two skip and work in the last three stitches one double crochet now the last one is a little bit on the side because that is our very first chain three so be sure that you crochet your last double crochet into the third of the chain three and this is what we have so far now the next row is super easy at least I think this is the easiest um, of this pattern 
chain three. And again, the chain three at the beginning of the row doesn't count as anything. So we're going to work into the very first double three double crochets. If you hear some noise in the background, I am I will have to apologize. Um, it is spring summertime over here in the Netherlands. And um, it seems like today everyone is working in their garden, uh, having some music up, um, making some noise. But I really wanted to make this video for you guys, so hopefully uh, it doesn't bother you. Um, um, so I know there is a bit of a sound in the background, and I'm truly sorry for that. Okay, I can do. I cannot make my. Uh, neighbors to not do what they want to do. <laughs> I hope you understand. All right, so um, again, the chain three doesn't count as anything, so I will be working on one double crochet in the very first three double crochets. There you go. Now, next, chain three. One, two, three. We're going to skip this and this, and we're going straight forward to the next three double crochets and work one double crochet in each of the three double crochets. One, two, three. There you go. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so chain three. skip and go to the next cluster of three double crochets and work one double crochet in each of these double crochets. Chain three, skip one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. If you think that I crochet a little too fast for you, there is an option uh, on YouTube um, that you can slow down the video. If it is too slow for you, then there also is an option to um, make me talk really fast. G3, go to the next six stitches because we are at the bottom of our pouch. So in each of the six stitches, one a double crochet. There you go. Two, three, four. Skip. Did I say four? Um, sorry, I need three. One, two, three. So skip and one, two, and three. I think it will make sense what I what you need to do for the rest of the row. So I'm gonna let you go. Um, I'll be back when I'm in the very last cluster right there to show you guys oh, what to do next. Right, I'm working on the very last cluster and I need three uh, double crochets. But it seems like there are four stitches. See? It seems like there is another stitch right at the very end there. So, like I told you at the beginning of each row, the chain three at the beginning of a row, so we meet that one again right there at the very end of the row, doesn't count as anything. So we will be working into the very last one right there. So when you did your three a double crochet, chain three, turn your work and work one a double crochet in each of the three stitches. One. Two and three. Now, 
basically we're going to repeat the um, second pattern stitch that we did if he doesn't count the loops um, then the clusters of three double crochets would be our very first row and then the one with the chain two the single crochet and the chain two that is a round that we uh, the row that we will be working on right now but instead of working into the center stitch like we did in the second row we will be working into the chain space so chain two insert your hook into the chain space grab your yarn and make your single crochet now chain two and one double crochet on each of the next three double crochets okay so chain two go insert your hook into the chain space and single crochet chain two and three double crochets so it basically is the same but just instead of working into the center stitch you're working into the center of our chain space and of course when we uh, are at that point in our pattern um, where the six uh, double crochets in a row are you know like I told you before right there the bottom of our pouch it will be the bottom bottom of our pouch then just crochet the six double crochets I'm gonna let you guys go till uh, I reach the end of um, this row and then I'll be back to show you guys um, again the next row um, yeah let's do that chain two single crochet chain two and our double crochets I see you guys in in, um, in a few moments and my very last stitch would be the third double crochet at the end of this round again the chain three right there looks like it is another stitch but it doesn't count as anything in this pattern chain three again they don't count as anything so we will be working a one double crochet in each of the next three stitches two and three and this will be the row again where we're going to chain three skip this part and work double crochet in the next three double crochets okay so chain three and work one double crochet in each of the next three double crochets this is what you do till you are at the very end of the round then make sure that you just crochet the three double crochets at the very end then repeat row two and three one more time so in total you should have three of these chain uh, of these spaces um, hopefully you can see it this one this might be better um, one two three spaces so if you have that then um, when I have that I'm going to turn back on the camera and tell you guys what to do next so please enjoy until you have these um, all these rows um, and then turn back on the camera I mean turn back on the video alright 
I did my last row because now I have these three patterns. See? Then again, chain three, turn your work, work three a double crochet in the first three stitches that you see. There you go. And then you have your uh, chain three space. Now work three double crochets into the chain three space. There you go. One double crochet on top of each double crochet. One, two, three. And one double crochet, sorry, three double crochets around the chain three space. This is all you have to do in this round, in this row. Uh, one double crochet on top of each of the three double crochets, and into the chain space also three double crochets. And of course, here, what will be the bottom of our pouch, six double crochets. I'll meet you guys at the very end of this row. I did my very last three double crochets on top of the three double crochets. This one doesn't count as anything. Now, chain three. Turn your work, and um, here we started off by making loops. We're going to finish it with loops too, but they're basically chain spaces. So we did the chain three. Um, we we'll skip the first stitch. We're going to skip the second, and we're going to skip the third stitch. So we're going to work in groups of three stitches again. Now, between the third and the fourth stitch, if you pull them a little aside, you can place your um, your crochet hook in between that. So not in a stitch, but between the stitches. And then grab your yarn and pull through the loop on your hook, which is called a slip stitch. Again, chain three. One, two, three. Skip three stitches. One, two, three three and between the third and the fourth stitch slip stitch not in a stitch but between the stitches one two three skip three slip stitch between the stitches one two three skip three One, two, three. So this is what you do until you are at the end of this row. One, two, three, skip three. One, two, three, skip three. One, two, three, skip three. And now you have three stitches left and the chain three right there. Chain three. And this is the only time in this complete pattern that we will be working into the third of the chain three. Well, um, that's not completely true because we did that in the very beginning 
as well. The, we worked in the beginning chain three as well. I think it was here. There. But okay. Skip three and work a slip stitch into the third of the chain three. So not between the stitches, but into the third of the chain three. Then turn your work. Do not chain one. Turn your work. Um, no, do not chain your work. Uh, do not turn your work. So this is where I ended my. Um, this is where I ended with this um, row. Do not clip your yarn, but fold it. Fold your piece in half. So, um, if here is your crochet hook, then this is your right side. Then fold the two right sides together. There you go. Yeah. Then pick up your work turn your work so this is the it will be the inside of your pouch okay so the good side is on the inside right now then you have these loops that we just created okay insert your hook underneath the first loop underneath the loop on the other side there you go grab your yarn and make a single crochet. This is your first single crochet. We need two more single crochet into the same loops. This is how we assemble our pouch. Okay, so three single crochet per loop. Chain one, go to the next two loops. So insert your hook, insert your hook under the first one and the one on the other side and make three single crochet. There you go. Do not forget the chain one in between. So chain one and then one, two, three. Chain one. One, oops, one, two, three, chain one. So this is what you do until you are at the very end of the row. In the last two loops, the one on this side and the one on the other side, I did uh, three single crochet then a chain one then I'm going to click my yarn and pull through okay so we're going to do the same on the other side so turning our work have these loops on both sides match each other so you do not crochet wrong loops together then start off with a slip knot on your hook there you go we're going to start with a standing single crochet so the loop on your hook hold it down with your index finger go underneath two loops this one and that one insert your hook and grab your yarn now you have two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through two loops that is your very first single crochet we need three single crochet per loop chain one one two three chain one and again just like we did on the other side um three single crochets per loop and a chain one in between at the very end um, do not forget to chain one and leave a little bit of a tail end so you can sew all your yarn and ends in easier 
um, as this is the wrong side that we are working on um, please be sure that you work in all your ends on this side and not on the other side which is the good side of our work okay so um, I'll meet you guys as soon as I finished this row and when I did so in all my yarn tails okie dokie um, right turn your inside out turn the inside out I should say I guess and be sure that you um, have the corners perfectly cropped just your index finger in there push it in the other side there you go and then it looks great look look how beautiful this um, has been assembled on the side I do have a top uh, with the same pattern the two-piece summer brace top um, and on the side I did assemble it like this as well and I love it like this it's so pretty right um, okay so this is your pouch then get your um, yarn uh, I'm going to use a different color I'm going to use the uh, ivory then leave a little bit of a tail end just like that okay then make a slip knot on your hook um, and I'm gonna I'm telling you that you need this amount of yarn um, as your yarn tail because we need it to um, assemble the beat I hope it makes sense now um, I did four all the other ones except for my test version I did a chain of 75 and for my test version I did a chain of 70 so it's up to you what you want I'm going to chain 75 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now um, I'll see you guys at the end of my uh, chain 75 then about the same yarn that we have on the other side then clip your yarn and pull through now to make the closure to make the strings that I did on this side you need or on this one you need two of these uh, chains so please make another one and then I'll be back to show you how to uh, weave this through the pouch and how to uh, uh, add the beads. Okay, I have two. I'm going to put one aside and the other one I'm going to use to show you how to weave um, this chain through your pouch. Get your darning needle and your chain now on the side you see the loops so here are here is where the loops are assembled this is these are the first loops and here are the second loops we need to go um, into the side here so the first ones and the second ones so on this side we're going in and we're going to use the spaces here so the ones that are on the top see there then go into the big one back through the top one big one top one then weave it through go back into the big one then skip 
the one with um, double crochets here in the second loop. There you go. Then over this part into this one. And just weave it through like I'm doing right there. And come out of it on the other side. So take your needle out. As you can see on both sides of where we assembled it, we have a loop. Now, be sure that you have the same length of your um, chain on both sides coming out. Then clip your yarn so it is even there you go. get your needle weave the two um, yarn pieces through get your first bead uh, yeah. Uh, your darning needle through the bead and just put it just towards there. Then here you have the two strands, just like that around your finger, wrap it around your finger. Sometimes it's really hard for me to find the right words in English. So wrap the two strands around your finger like that. Then your needle from there underneath there so you're making a knot. Get your finger out and be sure that you have the knot on the end of the string. See? Just like that. Then get your bead and be sure that the knot is big enough so it won't go through um, the hole of the bead. Then insert your hook through the knot and come out on the other side of the bead. Sometimes this is really tight. It isn't right now, but sometimes it is. And then I'm going to use my pliers to get it through. That's the only time I'm going to use pliers in this pattern um, when I'm trying to get the string through the bead. Right, now. Get these two strands apart from each other, wrap it around the bead, just like that, so you be sure that you are on the other side, and make a double knot. So make a knot. It, it, this is really hard to show. So forgive me if it's not really clear. If you have a better option, do it. Okay? So make a knot, and I'm getting my... Um, yarn tail through the opening for the knot twice so it is um, more sturdy it is tighter it is a better knot hope it makes sense then be sure that you push it all the way towards the bead there you go and do that again on the other side one two there you go I'm going to push it a little further with my thumb. Then again, try to even the two strands of yarn. Clipping it again so it is even now. Get your darning needle, get it through, and go through the knot. Just like that, come up there. See? And now it should be perfect. Then clip it. 
and this is how I did my string on this side. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. Then I should have the bead on this side when I go in on this side. But instead of using the um, openings, the two, um, two chain spaces right there, we're going to use the chain spaces not on the top but on the bottom right there. So for this one we're going to use the chain, this chain space and this one. Right? The rest will be exactly the same. Let me show. Right. So I have the two strands with the beads on both ends and when I pull this your pouch will be closed. And it is insert your fingers right there and it's really easy to open up like that. Um now I'm getting this Geurbeltje. No clue what the name in English is, but I'm going to try to find out and um, let you guys know. Oh, this smells so good. The um, it's called Morning Fresh, Morning Morgen Fresh is Dutch. A uh, Morning Fresh, I don't know. Morgen is morning and fresh is fresh so it should be okay so I put that one in and just put in it like that um, so now mine is finished um, if you want to add other things like um, maybe you want to add um, a lucky doll a small lucky doll because you're gifting it or maybe you want to add some uh, buttons or maybe you have a label that you want to add to it um, if you want to do the strings in a different way please feel free um, but be sure that you show all your work that you did to me um, by um, making a photo and add it to your social media be sure to tag me made by Sim on Instagram. Uh, we do have a very nice Facebook group. The main language is Dutch, but luckily um, Facebook does the translation for you guys, so you are able to follow along. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, you can add a, um, a bar of soap if you prefer. That's what I did right there. It does fit perfectly and then I have this one as well and I have a white one or ivory the correct name for the for the uh, yarn color is ivory and this was my test version I truly love them and I hope that you love them too be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel for a lot of more um, tutorials coming up uh, or there are a lot of English tutorials already I'm gonna post for you guys a playlist with all my English tutorials at the very end of this video um, and you know please do not forget that I'm Dutch so my English is far from perfect but I'm trying to do my very best to help you guys out um, so you can enjoy um, my projects as well so um yeah please do not forget to subscribe um hit that little notification bell give me that thumbs up if you really like this video um share your work on instagram uh, be sure to tag me made by seam and um uh, share the video with all your friends and family so they can make their beautiful items too um of course, you are able to sell the ones that you made. Uh, I get a lot of questions from you guys. Uh, am I allowed to um, crochet your items and then sell it? Yeah, you are. Um, you can. I love it. I love it if you can make money out of it. What I 
do not love is if you write down a pattern and sell that. So I do not give you permission to write down a pattern and sell but you can sell the items that you made. Right? Um, thank you so much for watching. If you're going to have a look for the same kind of yarn uh, via my link on um, the website of iSharns or the website of a Durable, because I'm going to try to find a um, link for you guys and hopefully that give you gives you more uh, of an idea where you can purchase the durable coral yarn because that yarn is amazing. The Camilla cotton of Ice Yarns is basically the same. Um, actually, I think it's quite the same. Um, so yeah, you can use that as well, but you will have to buy that in, I think it is packages of six skeins. Well, you know, I do have a lot of tutorials where I use this kind of yarn. so. If you find the perfect color for you um, at iShines, then I am sure that you uh, can use up all the skeins that you buy from the Camilla Cup. Super, super nice yarn. Um, so yeah, link down below into the description box. If you're going to watch a lot of more tutorials of mine, then I would like to say, please enjoy, stay healthy, Stay safe. Bye for now. Now, if you do find some of my English, uh, if you do the clip. So, anyway, um, I hope you guys. What, uh, enjoy the la, la, la. Anyway. leave a little bit of a tail end so you can sew it in easier later on I'm gonna need to zoom in a bit not zoom out but zoom in and let's do this again that's my beautiful mouse now start off with a slip net okay we're going to start off so One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay. So, um, I'm going to crochet three double crochets, except for into the last one. And when I'm back, after I uh, pat my cat, um, I'm going to show you right there um, what to do next. Okay? Yeah, 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 I'm here. What do you want? What do you want, baby? Honey. Her name is Honey. Like honey in sweetheart, honey. Hi. What do you want? I love you. Do you love me too? Do you love me? Yeah? Just a tiny bit, right? Honey. Super, super nice. I hope that you guys like him too, or love him too. Um, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done. <laughs> yeah.